Okay, hi, my name is Ovacha and I'm really honored to be part of Donde Está Mi Gente and inviting everybody out there to please come on out because the lineup is off the hook. You will get it in English, Spanish, it's Banglish. We're going to do it for you. Obligado en Argentina. Yo recuerdo la danza mística y la música sensual y el sabor a cuervos sudorosos. El ambiente de nuestro orgullo arrogante. Creatividad completa desenfrenada. Fuimos cuacuachosos, bailadores negros, celebrándonos en templos del solar. Yo, recordando los días, días estáticos, bailando contigo, libre y auténtica, una clave de nadie, tú y yo. Una pareja conectada. How do you identify as an artist, as a writer, performer, poet, musician? Musica poeta y loca, that's what I am, a music uh, musician, uh, a writer, and uh, a crazy old lady. And how long would you say you've been doing what you do? <laughs> I'm 72, uh, going on 720. I started playing music when I was four. And I don't know when the writing started, but not much longer after that. I've been a bookworm all my life, and so I didn't even know what I was doing was writing poetry and short stories until other people let me know, especially one teacher who really was like the savior of a lot of teachers in New York. She just snatched me and forced me to look at myself. And, and also a couple of musicians I worked with, I was lucky enough to work with, and uh, they, they forced me into doing the poetry because I just play music and I wouldn't do the poetry or the short stories and so. But I've been doing it all my life. I, my mother and father were both dancers, so I'm a theater baby, so. And uh, if you had to name a couple of those folks that influenced you, that were mentors to you, who would they be? Oh, God. Um, there was one teacher, Mrs. Husbands of all names, a strange name, but a beautiful old lady who I always uh, have a lot of respect for. Tito Puente, who was uh, Tito Puente, who lived in the same neighborhood, was very, very, very supportive of everybody. Uh, uh, Rasan Roland Kirk. Um, uh, there's so many people, you know, Mario Balsa, uh, Betty Carter. I mean, I can mention a whole list of people who definitely fine-tuned me into who I am. So without even knowing that they were doing it. Could you tell us a little bit about your radio show and your radio work? When I first came out here, I have a, I have a really, I'm also a, a collector of music, I'm a music nut. And uh, I was going to UC Berkeley and a couple of guys I knew, they had a radio program and, uh, you know, Rasa Media, and they knew I had a big Latin collection and so they asked me, they said they were going to go away for two weeks, they went away for several months. And by that time the show had made ratings and all kinds of other stuff and when I came back I gave the show back to them and then I got called by a friend here. When I was over at Raza Media, they just wanted Musica Latina, and I'm really grateful in New York. There's so much, and when I grew up in New York, it wasn't just about Latin music. You had Latin, you had everything from Latin, you had blues, you had jazz, it was, oh, music was everywhere. And so, when I was at Raza Media at UC, I started, I slipped in some Archie Shep on the jazz side, and the Mighty Sparrow from Trinidad. And they said nobody would like it, but here I am now, and folks are still listening to it, and I've been doing it for 40 some odd years. Um, so that's how I started, and I'm very grateful to be doing it. I love it. It's a hobby that I love. KPOO, every Friday I do a show, La Verdad Musical, the one I just finished. It's the, music, uh, uh, the, um, um, the Musical Truth, and that's from noon to 3 every Friday, and then Tuesday nights. Uh, I do Bebop, Kubop, and, and the Musical Truth, uh, and that is on uh, KPFA from 8 to 10. KPFA is also on the web at uh, kpfa.org, and KPOO is on the web at kpoo.com. Well, if, they, if they're doing it because they think they want to make some money, I think then they should run. If they're not doing it because that's their passion, that's their heart, then I would suggest that they don't do it. But if 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 it is their passion, then just go for it and just keep doing it. The more you do it, the better it gets. Um, and don't be surprised that you know you're gonna find some something that you thought was really great when you start. That you look back a few years later and say, "Oh my God, did I write that?" 
bailando contigo y tu espíritu inmortal, tú y yo. Tú y yo, tú y yo fuimos uno, un cuerpo, un corazón, un alma inseparable, tú y yo. Tú y yo purificándonos en la luna, una pareja en conquistada y juntos en espíritu para siempre amar, bailando y bailando y bailando, obligado en Argentina.